We warned you this was coming. After a half century spent in the righteous pursuit of driving excellence, rear wheel drive, spunky four and six cylinder engines, near 50 hours 50 minutes weight distributions, BMW clicked its corporate turn signal to veer off in a dastardly direction. The kidney grilled, Hoffmeister King Tex 1X Drive 28 I featured here is the first of a troop of front drive based BMWs destined for the land of the brave. Why is this happening? Because US buyers want crossovers, boxy vehicles made out of car parts, and the more the better. In 2015, more than 4 million were sold, and they're expected to top the combined sales of compact and mid-size sedans this year. Responding, BMW swallowed its sporting pride to feed America's ravenous crossover appetite. The previous X1 was a wagon in drag, its replacement is dull enough not to be confused with a car. By moving to a front drive platform, see sidebar below, BMW achieved some notable gains while stomaching inevitable sacrifices. And yet, this X1 still drives like a car while serving as a truck. BMW has wisely configured it to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the thriving premium compact crossover category with arch rivals Audi Q3, Lexus NX, and Mercedes-Benz GLA. Thanks to a front seat height raised by 1.2 inches, you slide straight into the saddle with no up or down movement. The X1's interior is beautifully furnished in two shades of French stitched leather, lovely dark oak paneling, optional, matte chrome, and piano black accents. An intelligent mix of knobs and buttons takes the hassle out of adjusting the climate control, making a call, or navigating your way to a restaurant. The 6.5-inch dashtop display screen provides a clear look at both the X1's soul and the world at large, an 8.8-inch screen is optional. A huge, double-panel sunroof, part of the $3,250 premium package, or $1,350 on its own, brightens the interior mood. While the front seats are impressively bolstered and upholstered, they're a bit too narrow. The X1 doesn't look like heresy. And it doesn't look like a mini club man, either. It looks pretty much like the other BMW SUVs. Mostly, though, it's the rear compartment that surprises and delights. Passengers ride higher than before, with a better view of their surroundings thanks to the X1's sensible belt line. The more compact powertrain layout also yields 1.5 inches more rear legroom in standard trim or an additional 2.6 inches with the $300 slide and recline seating option. Behind the seats there's a 27 cubic foot cargo hold, up 2 cubic feet, plus a bonus 4 cubic feet of stash space under the floor panel. Load height is a handy 28 inches. The power operated hatch can be opened by swinging a foot under the rear bumper. BMW offers no hitch option, though all X1s are at least wired to accommodate trailers. The best news about the X1's driving dynamics, there's little hint that the front wheels do most of the work. The steering is quick and keen to respond, though loath to provide any real feedback from the road. The standard M Sport suspension's ride motions are taut even in the softest of the three driving dynamic settings, and you feel bumps you can't even see. Those you do see hurt more. The payoff for this pain is back road agility, a rare find in crossovers. Rock and roll motions are tightly contained, and there are occasional hints of sports car wannabe syndrome. That said, when the X1 is pushed past 8 tenths, the truth comes out. The standard 225-50 R18 Pirelli Centurato P7 all C